All right, guys, welcome back to the Radical Firearms $500 AR series. So you saw the unboxing. You saw it go up against several different types of ammunition. And what I concluded from that was the brass ejection pattern is way off. It's spitting brass out about 1 30, 2 o'clock, I guess, uh, no matter what grain and whether it was steel cased or brass. It didn't matter. They were all flying out at about 1 30, 2 o'clock. So... If you're not sure what I'm talking about, go ahead and look at my channel icon. It looks like a little pie graph. Uh, I really like that because it's very, very helpful. When you see that little icon, it means great things. You know, one, I got a video up, and two, how it's going to fix your AR. So I really like that little icon. Anyway, go ahead and check out that little pie graph for my channel, and it'll tell you basically what I'm about to do here. So we have a little rubber grommet on our extractor spring inside our bolt carrier group so there's no upgrading that but what we are going to do is we're going to pop off the the weight inside here and we're going to see if we can upgrade it and i'll show you how we're going to do that in a second all right so as of right now you just now clicked on my little icon and you zoomed in on that photo and then right after you thought oh my goodness this is amazing information it's going to help me so much, and immediately you went over and you subscribed. I know you did. So, <clears throat> now that you're subscribed, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to upgrade your buffer weight. So, to get our brass to shoot properly at about 3 o'clock to 4.30 or so, 5 o'clock, what we're going to do is pop this pin here, push it in as far as you can, then grab it and pull it out till it clicks. Then you're going to separate your upper and your lower. Inside here is your buffer weight. In order to get it out, you're going to have to press that back to relieve tension on this little stopper. You're going to have to push down that stopper and then your spring will pull out. Now, your spring comes all the way out, long spring. This is the stock spring. Everything I'm doing to this rifle, you guys will see in this series. So, now that we have the weight out, what we're gonna do is separate it from the spring. And right here, you can see that there's a little pin holding the little rubber uh, stop in here. So basically, all the weight for our buffer weight is inside this little cap, which you can remove by removing this little pin. Can you hear that? That's the weight shaking back and forth. Basically, there's not enough weight in there, and what we're going to want to do is add more weight. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and stop, and I'm going to pull that little pin. Okay, so I just now ran a little punch all the way through and took out this little tiny pin that was holding it in. I did so with my little kit here. So this kit, pretty cool. It's the Wheeler Engineering Kit. Uh, I'm not sure where I got it. I completely forget, but it comes with all the little punches you need and the little hammer with a rubber side and a soft metal side. So anyhow, so basically we just ran that punch all the way through, found the one that would fit in there perfectly, so here we go. Let's see what's inside this bad boy. Oh, gonna have to stop the camera again. This thing's in there good. Let's see. Holy crap. Oh, nope. Just dig your nail. I don't have much for nails, but just dig your nail under there and just yank it out of there. Alright, so we removed the little top. And inside we have little weights. That's a little, so we got one weight here, came out first. And we've got a spacer, a little rubber spacer. Doesn't weigh anything. Got another weight. Another little spacer. And it looks like another weight and another little spacer. So... What we're going to do now is 
add weight to it by removing one of these and filling it with something heavier, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and pause it again and get back with you. All right, so if you zoomed in on my little icon, this is what you got here. It's an ejection angle chart. Now, when you fire around, the direction in which your brass shoots out is an indication of what's going on with your rifle. So, with the barrel being 12 o'clock and the stock being 6 o'clock, we determine that I'm in the 2 o'clock range, which puts me in the red on the right-hand side. Basically, I have overgassing, which the route I'm going and showing you is upgrading to a heavier buffer. So, here we have the buffer that I already disassembled from the Radical. Now, what we're going to want to do is take each of these little individual weights here, and we're going to want to swap those out with a heavier weight. And what we're going to do that is we're going to pick up these tungsten buffer weights off Amazon for $27.99. That way, from here on out, we can customize any buffer to whatever weight we need it that best cycles in our rifle. So, what I'm going to do is start off with replacing all three of them with the three here and see where that puts me. Now, if that makes it too heavy, our indication is going to be ejection pattern being between 4.30 and 6 o'clock. You got short stroking if the buffer's too heavy. So we're going to aim for 4.30 to 3 o'clock for perfect ejection, obviously. So what we're going to want to do is just customize this buffer weight to fit into the 4.30 to 3 o'clock range um, and still get a bolt hold open on the final round. That's another key. You'll know that your buffer's too heavy with short stroking because your bolt carrier group won't hold open on final round. So that's another indication that your buffer is too heavy. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and order these tungsten weights. That way we can, from here on out, customize any buffer on any AR that we get simply by following this. Now, this is going to help your AR run more flawlessly and prevent, hopefully, any future jam, short strokes, etc. I hope this video helped somebody out. Make sure to subscribe and definitely leave a comment. If there's something you're unsure about, hopefully myself or someone smarter than myself can answer it intelligently. Also, make sure to like this video. Be safe and stock it, guys.